Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. <laughs> Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Reporter, TLDR for short, your daily dose of geek news, gadget views, and answers that you can use. I'm joined today by another one of my family members, who you have met in the blog a few times. In fact, I think some people were clamoring for you to be in the blog more. Oh, really? Yeah, they were saying you didn't give them enough camera time. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You live-streamed for a brief while, didn't you? Uh, for about, I think, three days. Yeah, very, very brief. Yeah. I've been doing it a little longer. But Adam is the artist in the family. That is his. You see that artwork there? Now, are you selling your artwork? I sell it, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to own a Perillo original by Adam, whose butt is now on YouTube... There you go, another one of Adam's original creations. This framed in something that... Metal. Oh, metal, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. It is a metal framed object art from the person who's not a geek in the family, really. But he is probably geekier than me right now because he wears technology wherever he goes. He's using something that he pointed mm -hmm. out the other day when we landed at the airport and he picked us up. He's got his armband that's wrapped around this koi that's on his arm. He's also the, the most tatted brother and the, really the most tatted member of our family. <coughs> Can I say that, tatted? Ta sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just did. I, d okay. I don't I'm, think it's a word. But... Oh, well, well, I'm just making that up now. It's an urban dictionary if you look it up. If Bush used to it, make up words, so can you. Right. Well, I'm not going to go there. So this little device monitors everything. Well, not maybe not everything that you do, but heart rate and steps, so well, odometer mixed with... There's like here, I can take it off. This is probably the biggest gadget we have in the house right now. So this here, these are two sensors and on the website it explains like it like body temperature, I believe heart rate, um, and like uh like perspiration and so you can sense like perspiration and things like that. So basically it takes all that information and it, it tries to calculate how many calories you're burning based on your activity throughout Instead the day. Instead of guessing just by yeah, well, like, like a with, pedometer might give you a general. It gives you, you're yeah, doing. it gives you a more realistic idea of what you're burning. That way, if you're trying to lose weight, you know they say that you know you only want about a thousand calorie deficit. So, if you burn three thousand calories, you want to you want to consume two thousand calories, depending on how much weight you want to lose per week. And how yeah, how fast? How fast? But it's usually what one pound a week is about. The, the most you want to lose is two pounds a week, yeah, yeah. max. Yeah, I was gonna say usually when when I've done it because. Perillos tend to struggle with their weight. Uh, I, I've gained it and lost it, and will probably do that for the rest of my life. Because we're Italian. We yeah, like pasta. I, we just like, we like to eat. eat. Yeah. I think that's the biggest problem. So I, it, it boils down to eat less or eat better and exercise more, or at least burn more calories. So you're going through a program right now. You've actually lost, I would say, a substantial amount of weight. 32 pounds. So that's far. very substantial. That's as much as I weigh. No, actually, I'm I'm in a process. process Maybe how much Diana weighs. I, I, yeah, most but. likely, and she eats the most, so she yeah. obviously does not have Perillo blood. That's why we have to, we're trying to integrate her into our gene pool so yes. that we can you know pump out skinny babies at some point, right? Is that the plan? <laughs> right. She said she. I didn't mean to objectify you over there watching. Skinny baby. Skinny baby. Yeah. Who is it? There's some. There's some. I can't remember what movie it was, but they talk about the fattest Italian man gets the hottest woman. I don't know I can't what, it is. what movie that was. I don't know, I but I, it, I it was an Adam Sandler I, movie. I, I would say. I definitely need to lose weight, but I, I. I don't know. I'm not. I'm at 155 right now, and I need to get. Back. I need to get. Well, don't laugh. That's big for me. Actually, biggest was one. Right. You don't lift weights or anything, here, so you have like no yeah, muscle. Yeah, here, here. There's exactly. me lifting a weight. Oh, no, no, no. Here, there's, there, this is this is the yeah, weight the that weight. I lift, right? Yeah. This is not yeah. even a pound. Actually, it might even be a pound. I don't I, know. I don't know. We'll have to wait. Exercise. So I'll be sure to put a link uh, for that particular device in the video description if you wanted to it's, pick uh, it up. The, the best. Uh, it, actually, you know, um, the people who do, um, who does the up? Uh, Jawbone? No, Jawbone. Yeah, 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 Jawbone does up in the speakers. They just bought out this company. Oh, interesting. Uh, not that long ago. They acquired them. Uh, it used to be Body Media. Right now, they haven't changed anything. I'm a little worried about it because yeah. I'm not impressed with the up. It doesn't have the same. Again, it's like more of a pedometer where it's not very accurate, where this is the most accurate thing on the market. So and it has an app. It does. Well. It has an app. Or There's at least app the, for that. the data 
can be yeah. pushed into an eye. This is pretty. This is actually pretty neat. I don't know. Uh, you, will... It's a little too bright, so either yeah. you'd have to dim the brightness of the of the phone, the phone. to get the stats. Okay. If you want to do that real quick, because it's yeah. it's actually really uh, really compelling information. Uh, so instead of guessing what you're doing, the data that's coming from the device on Adam's arm, it's telling you exactly what's going on. And so he has a more accurate reading with bars, color color bars, color charts. I'd have to turn off the lights more yeah. for this to... Well, and then when you on. go sideways, it even gives you like little graphs throughout the day, like your activity spikes. Um, it does your tracks, your, your, your food and your sleeping. And the nice thing about this is you do have to pay a monthly fee for their service in order to host your information, basically. But it's pretty minimal. It's like seven bucks a month. So it's well, reasonable. And, and if you're motivated to get healthier, you know, yeah. you, you kind of got to find the right tool. And if, if it, I like seeing it because I like gadgets. It kind of gives me that motivation when I see it throughout the day. I can be like, oh, man, I've only burned like 200 calories and, and it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> like, yeah. You could gotta sit and burn more, more, you know, right. so – yeah. Uh, so I may actually be looking into getting that device as well. As I said, I need I need to lose weight. Now it may not be in the same range that Adam is trying to lose weight, and I think he's going out about it a slightly different way. But uh, you know, that's just the way it is. Adam is the middle brother. Ben is the youngest brother. I am the eldest, which probably explains a lot. I don't know what it explains, but uh, there were some questions that were asked that may be somewhat related to that. Uh, before I do continue, though, I wanted to. Uh, call attention to the fact that Ben and I watch Game of Thrones. Do you? It's on my to watch list. Okay. I, I want to get into it, but right now, you know, I, I busy. Know, busy. Busy making art, man. I mean, I didn't start watching it from day one. So, That's, you, dude, know. you can catch up. That's I know, I, I know. Okay, but yeah, yeah. but when you catch up, like, we, you know, it's like anything else. You want to watch every episode. I know. Like, Battlestar back. Galactica. Do you, have you seen Battlestar Galactica yet? <gasps> oh, no. Have you? Dude. You have to. You will. You will. Lim Diana, did I not like? I wasted away for a week watching Battlestar Galactic oh, on Netflix. Geez. No. It was good. So anyway, so Ben and I bonded watching Game of Thrones. I found out that the unabridged version of Game of Thrones is available on Audible. So head over to go.tagjag.com/audible. Link is in the video's description. You can get a 30-day trial for Audible as well as one free audiobook download. And if you want to listen to at least the the first book, uh, A Song of Fire and Ice, uh, they have this is unabridged, a four and a half star rating. Uh, I don't know, roar, uh, narrated by someone who everyone seemed to like. And considering this is going to be six hours plus eight hours plus eight hours plus seven hours, it's a long time to listen to a book. But I'd rather listen to the book than actually read it because I don't know can, if I can get through the reading. Can you read along with it? You could. I mean, like, does it have the text there too, or is it no, just, no, no, no? It's audio. Um, no, no, no. When was the last time you read a book? Um, about well, I'm reading a book right now. What book? I I never actually read, um, The Hobbit, like the book The Hobbit. See, I, I I'm listen to that, it. but I, I like to read. I like to listen. And this is where we. This is where it ends right there. That's the division between I like to listen to stuff. I'd rather watch it really. I did watch. Well, it. I mean, yeah, but the books all literally always. I never understood that. Mom always said the book was better. Right. Well, and this then is I, the book. Then I saw the first Hunger Games. I, yeah, I know. And then I saw the first Hunger Games. I needed to know how it ended. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, wait. so the Hunger Games is what pulled you into reading? <laughs> wow, that is astounding. No, I mean I had read books before, other books before I've right. seen other movies. One fish, red fish, two <laughs> fish, blue fish. What was it? Yeah, uh, but the Hunger Games was like I wanted to know what happened. I wanted to know. Don't tell me. I'm waiting like, for the movie. Well, I'm waiting for the movie. I won't tell you. But it was like okay. So I've seen the Harry. Who hasn't seen the Harry Potters? And right. everyone said, "Oh, you got to read the book." Right. Well, I started reading I that to series too, and it was horrible. Those what, Harry books Potter? are terrible. It's because they were written for kids. Everyone's like, it's so imaginative and it's so so fresh and new. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's Cinderella. But he's a wizard. So where do you stand on the whole Twilight issue? Um, you know what? We are from right around – well, at least I, we live uh, by four. You do, so yeah. Um, we sparkle up there. Well, oh, It's humid. I'm sparkling. Um, I used to know someone who was really into the Twilight, so I watched them because they were into it. And the first one I was kind of like – I was actually just talking to a friend of mine about this. Um, I was like, oh, this is just terrible. I mean, vampires don't twinkle. Like, seriously? They, they, no, twinkle, they, they burn glisten. in the they sun. Glisten. They glisten. Whatever. They, what, glisten, they sparkle. Twinkle, sparkle, whatever. Sparkle, yeah. whatever. I, I, it's stupid. Like, they ruined what vampires are. You know, it's like, you're ruining it. You're romanticizing. If vampires aren't. They're dead. They're the undead, right? So I just made fun of it and made fun of it. And by the end, by the last one, 
You were crying. No, oh. I wasn't crying, but the, by the you very last one, I was like, no, oh. I was I was on the edge of my seat like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Kate, I won't do spoilers. Okay. Yeah, because I've like, only seen the first one, and then I was like, eh, yeah, I don't but know if you, I really want to see the watch the rest. Because oh, don't, don't, like, do oh, don't, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Diana, will you watch The Twilight with me? Okay. Yeah, I, seriously. You'll, no by, takesy backsies. By the end, by the last one, you'll be like, and it only until the very end. But the rest of the movies, you will make fun of the whole time. You will be like, this is stupid. This is the dumbest movie. And then the very end, final scene, it does give you a good little twist. All right. I'm going to trust you on that because I have not. I kind of faded in and out of the other movies. But yeah, I, I give did it too. A go. I did too. I mean, they're horrible. I, I will give it a go based on you asking or you saying that. But it True Blood's a good series. If you're That's what Ben HBO. said. Yeah, True I Blood's really good. Uh, see, we're talking about geeky types of entertainment. Geeky, I mean, I. I think it's kind of geeky to get into things to the point where you want to read books. Well, you got newsroom. That's pretty geeky. Haven't watched that yet. That was really good. I'm, I'm in and out. Although someone did ask what kind of shows you watch, so it was it fit right into a question that I was going to ask oh, anyway. Excellent. Uh, further questions uh, from the community. Did Chris always like Apple? No. No, he did not. They don't believe it. Yeah, yeah you, you cannot believe it, but I actually remember having a conversation in your first home that you bought – uh in des moines in your basement and i was telling you apple's way better and it's easier and this is you know, before they, os 10 yeah, this I is before os 10 but this is when the ipod was just the like, first ipods were coming out i'm like look they're making music easy and he's like mp3 player mp3 player it's cheaper <laughs> it was cheaper well it was but you know it's like vhs versus beta and beta was a better system but they didn't have the marketing mp3 might have been better but they didn't have the marketing. Apple was good at marketing. Why? Because designers used Apple. And designers know how to market to people. PC doesn't. They well, obviously the, they knew the it well enough. The, the Apple obviously they knew it well enough. Who? Uh, PC. Not to say that the, really, the margins are different. What do you listen to music on? No, that's not the point. Um, if PCs didn't know, if, if computer manufacturers didn't know how to market, they wouldn't be able to sell anything. People buy because they see... They see the features over finish. What Apple did was they added features to finish. They added the personalization and they added the ease the ease of right. Breaks. No, no, no. Now, no doubt in my mind. Now, now, but with that, you didn't need to really sell a PC. It wasn't like you were trying to sell ice to a Eskimo. Well, you I mean, did. You, you you didn't because people were using them in the office, and they felt that when it became not cheap enough, but when when the price came down. People started buying it for their homes because they felt they needed it. Well, their kids needed You don't have – their wood processor went away. The typewriter went away. How else are you going to write papers? Sure. How else are your kids going to do research? Then the blah, internet. Blah, blah. The internet came around. But the thing is is that the average person doesn't even need a freaking computer. I agree. Not anymore, especially with that pocket computers, smartphones, what and I've tablets. Been saying. What I've been saying. I, and that's what I told you. And a lot of people, they still – around our age, well, I still want that hard drive. Well, people want hard drives because they want to rip music off. You think so? What What else are you using your CD drive for? I'm not using not, it. You don't, but I'm saying most people. What are they using? Their you don't think they're using Watch Pandora or Spotify or just like renting? Some people, or, you know, or even iTunes. So, even iTunes. At this no, point. because so many iTunes. <laughs> yes, but so many people, I'll, I'll say Spotify, and they'll be like, "Huh? What's that?" Like people who use technology have no idea what Spotify is. That shocks which, me. It's that really it's does. shocking. But I'm also in Iowa, which isn't as technology driven as where you're at in the United States. So Well, I get I mean from But my, I think my even out there global. I mean, but then again, I would say my community is more of the, the geeks and nerds that, you know, live in tech. technology driven. So, yes, I definitely did not always drink the Apple Kool-Aid. And no. in fact, I think you were just a few months, a few weeks ago, I, you were kind of upset at Apple when they released the iPad mini, if I'm not mistaken. You thought they were going off the wrong track and they were creating too many skews. I caught a Facebook Jeez. status update. They had too many uh, – they're doing this well, size and I that think, size yeah, and the other I size. Yeah, think, I think they're getting away. I mean, you know, um, rest his soul, Steve Jobs, you know. I, 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 I worry for the future of Apple because they've – what I was getting at was Apple for a long time, they had to be innovated because if not, they were going to die because the only audience they had at that time – back there was no battle i mean let's face it right. people didn't buy apple for their home even though it was a better system it it, it always has been a better computer yeah. it 
Yeah. Uh, I'll with clones? Okay, I'll let's say clones. I'll debate it. How I'll long would a Dell last over an no, Apple no, no, no. back in the I'll, day? I'll, I'll debate it. I'll okay. debate it because there's hardware issue, the software issue, the services issue. It wasn't just the computer, Adam. It was the ecosystem. But, and but unfortunately, how often the way, did I need to fix the, way the Mac? Got, the way that you got saw, well, it, it still happened. It, it still happened. Not as often and as to you get did someone a PC. To and to get someone to fix it was few and far between because there were more It was a lot harder, yes. No. So it was a different when they it when, was a different time yes but they also didn't allow clones you had a better you had a better control well, product for, for a while they did until it was jobs sweet. came back uh, yeah. until <laughs> jobs came back that down that's right because he and realized he, right he was and he did because he lost control of the quality that's of right. his product and that's and that was it that was it was the right thing for him to do it was and what jobs is it was he is a very innovative thinker and he brought everyone he brought that apple into apple is now known when you see the apple product you see uh, you think innovation right but now they're not as innovative as they were with the first iPod and things like that. And, and well, when you think it about was, it, how innovative was the iPod? They had MP3 players before right. the iPod came out. It, it, it was they the did, mar- they were innovative in marketing I, and know, simplifying. Yeah, I, I think it's I think I think it's a simplification and making it easier and taking the pain or removing the pain from the personal computing experiences that what, Apple excel. And in. what made the iPod great wasn't the iPod itself; it was the combination of iTunes. That's right. It's it's the entire ecosystem, exactly. hardware, software, service, all tied together. It's the experience, and that's, that's and I've I've been speaking to that for years. And the funny thing is now I'll recommend people if they're gonna get anything, I push them towards PC and Android pro- products now. Why? Because when you get into Apple's ecosystem, you are in Apple's ecosystem. You right. will never leave Apple. If you start buying music on same, iTunes, hang on, and it's you the same thing. Ah, like, I that's the same thing with the Sony PS3 or the PS4 or Xbox One. You're locked in that ecosystem. Mm, not to, to but a certain degree. But I can play Amazon on my Apple uh, on my iPhone. Yeah, I so can play Amazon locked, Prime. So then you're not locked into Apple. But I can't play iTunes on my Android. No, but what you're saying that you need to my, use a, iTunes. But what I'm saying, if I buy a video on iTunes. Right. You if can't I buy play a, it on anything but Apple. But if I buy a video on Amazon, yeah, I can play it on more than just – I can play it on Apple. Sure. Devices. It's not vice versa. What I'm saying is if you purchase something in the Apple realm. Oh, that, that gives you – that gives more advantage to Apple, not less advantage. Why does that give more advantage that I can't see my stuff on other devices? So you would be wiser. Yes, I get stuck in that. Yeah, that's okay, what I'm saying. No, no, I don't get stuck in it. <laughs> I get it too. This is the reason why I use Google Docs for my my editing. Mm-hmm. I I put my if I have MP3s that I've had for years, I put them on Amazon. You got to be I, careful with that boom, because boom, I'm boom, telling boom, you, boom, eventually, boom. people aren't stupid. They watch an Apple, and Amazon's going to do the same thing. Oh, eventually, yeah. they're doing Google's it now. They're going to do it, and they're, they're going to get locked and locked and they're locked and locked and locked. They're doing it now. So, you're going to have many, many, many silos. And the and only hope is is that there's enough players in the field such that you'll have interoperability, meaning Google's not going to cut off its nose to spite its face. It's still making software for iOS. But but let's look how long it took. Apple had to kind of push their hand at that, though. I mean, you think Apple – you think the maps came out on the iPhone because because Apple just wanted to throw out some crap? Because it wasn't. Let's just be honest. Major fell from Apple. The maps. I, I debate that. I never I had don't any think, issues. I with didn't it. either. But the community at, at large, the Tempest the, in a teapot. The, uh, Tempest in a teapot. Okay, but I mean, the media outlets got a hold perfect. of it, and right. it they, wasn't. They perfect. ran with it. There, everyone. Every, but you don't when think they the did that on nail, purpose, though. Thomas you know, Nail always gets pounded. Google Maps didn't do any. They could have had turn by turn directions oh, yeah. on the iPhone. They oh, right. didn't. They didn't. And they they didn't. drove the feet. Why? Because right. they knew they didn't have to. They didn't have to. We got something on our Google phone until Apple. And to Apple, Apple, Google to do what they did. Exactly. So unless I, you have, I these, don't debate that. Unless you have these boys, you know, seeing who can pee farther. That's right. You know, it's going, it's going to be a losing proposition. So as Amazon pushes further into tablets, even though they're using Android mm-hmm. as the platform to build on top of, even don't get me started. The uh, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of, of the Kindle devices. The uh, but from from my perspective, uh, but you know, Google's doing I think a better job at engaging the consumer market. Uh, and I think, and I know a lot of people claim that Google is more open. I think they're more clopen, so it's like a closed version of open. They use open as a marketing tactic, mm-hmm. and that's it. Yeah. Uh, and it, it seems to win over people who are advocates, but real advocates would be using, uh, like at this point, they'd be probably going with Ubuntu, which is now going to be creating their own, not just a phone, but a phone that you can plug into a monitor. It becomes <laughs> like a traditional desktop yeah. OS. Yeah. So having all these these silos, I think is we're, we're going to go swing, the pendulum's going to swing that way, but it's eventually going to swing back again. Everything will. Yeah, if, if people don't, 
play well together, it's going to be it, the, the only person that's going to lose is the consumer. Like a lot of, the, I, don't get me started on these cell phone plans with these trading. No, nah, it's it's been anti-competitive, I think, for, um, for a long while. So, but yeah, I mean, to settle debate, simple simple thing is, so someone, a friend had a tablet, the kid had a tablet, uh, they got it for Christmas, and downloaded some apps on it. Couldn't play, could play Angry Birds on one, couldn't play it on the other. And they're like, here, can you fix this? So I, you know, I Googled it. Right. Like, what's going on? Right. Found a bunch of different fixes. I tried them all. Nothing worked. What what what's the tab? What was the tablet? It was like an off brand, like right. Walmart, just generic. Yeah. yeah uh, like I don't know, like twenty dollar. Right. It's a hundred bucks or something. Cheap. Cheap. They went cheap. Cheap. You get what you pay for. Cheap. So it didn't work on it. Well, why not? You know, and it's an Android. So I did some reading. Well, maybe it doesn't have the right Android. The it's not power the version. Right. You know, which that's what's nice about Apple is it's across the border. You just don't get it. That's right. Um. You know. Simple. And. With that, you know, so I did a bunch of research, but who do I take it into? Don't look at me. I eventually I hit a brick wall and I couldn't figure it out, and I'm just like, all right, with a, an iPad, and I could do some research. I could probably fix it. If I can't, you can I go have to an the, Apple store. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas with this, I've got to go to the, the place they bought it, that, and they're like, see, no, you got to go. You got to call the manufacturer. No, no, the but warranty doesn't come. That's you need why to go back I'd be over very here. careful about recommending PCs or Android. I know. Outright, outright. But th- no, I always give it with a disclaimer. Right. If you want ease, if something going wrong, and you want someone to go into, get Apple. Right. But understand with Apple, when you buy an Apple, you're going to start getting sucked into the Apple world. But it's a beautiful world. It is. <laughs> it is a nice it's world. It's a really now, nice world. See, here's the real well, line. For now. For now. For now. Well, no, but here's They're the They're not thing. innovating. But, They're, okay, no, okay stop. They gave us a Wait, larger stop, throw. stop. Here's my problem with anybody who throws that. It's, it's a red herring. I think that... Apple's got – it's a victim of its own success. You cannot change something that's successful to the point where everyone's going to see it as innovative and bring that audience with you. So if you changed it so radically – I don't want that. That's not what I'm asking for. But don't give me a larger screen because everyone's clamoring for a larger screen. Is everyone really wanting a larger screen? I, think I don't want a suitcase cell phone. Adam, I, I, I'm not debating that. What I'm saying is you can't call Apple not – innovative because they're not moving as fast as the other industry because right now apple's they have been leading google's been playing catch up and i think they've been doing a fantastic job with it yeah i don't know i think they're pretty even Uh, well it depends on how you're measuring it if you're talking about actual people using the platforms they're probably closer to dead even but unfortunately apple's still making most of the money oh because they have all those itunes accounts it's not just the I. I mean, it's everything combined, right? And Apple is still the juggernaut. It still has that. Presence. Which is odd because I mean, you do what six years ago, ten years I ago? Know, I remember. Now, like, the, they no, were no, a dying say, brand. The funny thing is, I wish I would have gotten in on the stock. Oh, at, don't, at don't get me started. Don't get me started. I wish. I wish. I wish. <laughs> I'm sitting here on a MacBook Pro. Adam's the one who's got a PC in the other room. That's for work. Okay. For, right. for my day this job. This is for work, too. This is yeah, for my day job. Yeah, but you're self-employed. I'm just saying that. <laughs> well, if I had a self-employed day turn. job. No, because my freelance, I have a Mac. I've right. got a Mac in there. I've yeah, got a Mac does, Pro yes. in there. I bought – did was and I got your a, first Mac? I've got other stuff. Did I – who's – did I get you that first Mac? You got me the first iMac I ever yeah, had yeah. that I owned personally. Before that, I had a Power PC, which was a Mac clone. Oh, yeah, right, right. Oh, you had a clone. No, I had it for a long time. Up at, up until about five years ago, I finally yeah. – uh, I that actually old sold old. it and it still worked. It still oh, ran yeah. the old – it was yeah. OS 9 was Pre the OS last 10, one. Yep. Yeah. So that was that was one question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, we're the talkers. Yeah, the no, I didn't think they got that now. Yeah. Tara Alito asks, does he, does he think – this is to you. Video blogging is a real job, or is it a geek hobby? I don't want to call it a geek hobby. Maybe I'd say geek, uh, a hobby that brings income for some strange reason. So do you see video blogging like this, doing camera stuff or talking on camera and doing YouTube stuff as, 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 a, job? as a job, as a real job, quote unquote? Everything can be a real job if you get paid at it. It's just, does someone want to pay for it? I mean, and if I mean if it's if you got to do work to do it, it's a job whether you get paid for it or not. Yeah, I don't know. I I agree. I mean, it can be a hobby or it can be a job. So Carlos Pineda asks, would you ever consider making a YouTube gaming channel? Because you 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 game pretty well, I guess, when you're playing against Ben. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've thought about it actually. I, I've actually talked to Ben about that. Um. Just kind of, I play a lot of uh, kind of first-person shooter games, and um, they're not all created equal uh, by any means. But there's a lot of really good, you know, it's dominated by the uh, modern warfare or not modern, uh, Call of Duty. 
that's the dominant one and everybody wants to play it. But in my opinion, it's not the best one on the market. It, and, and the other ones out there have just as much to offer. Like, so it's kind of, it's Call of Duty or Battlefield, it seems like. And there's so many in-betweens that are just as good. But I thought about it just to review kind of like for different games and stuff, just the way it plays. And because a lot of people, I see a lot of these reviews out there like, oh, it sucks. Oh, it sucks. Oh, this is crap. And that's like the review. It's like, right. really? There's nothing constructive about it. And, and there's a lot of those. And there's there's con- some constructive ones that are, that are done for like some of the magazines and things. Uh, but even those, they're like experts. Like, where's the common Joe that just gets on it and plays it a couple hours before wh- why the kids are in bed and he has the time to have, grab a beer and play a video game? Because we, we're, here's another thing you can talk about even. We're the first generation of, of adults who grew up with video games who it's a hobby for them. Whereas... Our parents' generation, hobbies were with them were playing soul pitch, slow pitch, which, like, seriously, right. like old guys. Don't, I, mean, like, give, I know. Give the dream up, man. Give the dream up. Um, but, yeah, so, I, think I mean. It, I think it's hitting a little too close to home <laughs> with our peanut gallery. Yeah, so, I mean, I, that's a good discussion, too, I think, as far as, like, you know, adults playing video games. Is it okay? I have no problem with it. I mean, you know, I some people think it's silly to play a PS3, but then I'll sit them sitting here sending me oh yeah there's another 15 candy crush request on facebook i don't see those requests i block them all i don't i don't even, i don't even you or i unfriend them, them. I, I don't just, like I if i, done, I, I block if, them if, if i get enough requests for stupid things i'm like i don't care if i knew you in high school plonk i'm like i'm i'm good I no i'm not, not gonna buy you a life. cow for farmville oh my goodness <laughs> i'm thank i did not ask for that for my birthday either oh good andrew neocleus asks if you could go to any place in the world where would it be india okay uh, questions for Adam about himself. Tell us three things about yourself that have nothing to do with technology, but are of major interest to you in your life, and why. Three things. Yeah. Three That's things kind of that have one. nothing to do with spot. technology, right? Nothing to do with technology. But are a major Jeez. interest to you. What are you interested in most? So you got tattoos. But, but every you got art. But everything like revolves music. around technology, though. Really, if you think about it, so that'll be a tough one. No music. I like going to live shows, concerts. Um, so any kind of music, I, there's not a genre I won't listen to. I listen to it all if it's good. And if it's good is my is my opinion of if it's good or not. I don't care, you know, Rolling Stones right. told me it's good or not. If I like it, I like it. They that, might put you on the cover for that. Well, yeah, they might. I hope not. And then it might be like a big <laughs> controversy. Um, uh, I like throwing discs, get disc golf. Um, and then, of course, art. I like art. And domos. And he's all yeah apparently the and tattoos the he's on Twitter before I forget at FroJive, and you can follow him there. I'll have to put the link in this video's description. Violet Corral Gerjava asks a three part question. Chris is known to have a bit of OCD. I don't know that was never diagnosed really. Um, I don't think I do. I OCD just or OCD. ADD. No 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 OCD obsessive compulsive yeah, disorder. Yeah. I don't have obsessive compulsive disorder. I. <laughs> I don't have that. Stop it. The <laughs> I can function. It's a it's a gift. Uh, yeah, it is a gift and a curse. Yes. Has he always been that way? If so, how is it like growing up with him? Are you the same way? Um, I I have OCD tendencies. I I do. I when I drive out of the driveway, I don't think I lock the door. I will drive oh, I back. That. Yeah, I, I will drive all the way back That's not OCD home. though. That's, that's OCD. That's, no, it isn't. Yes, it that's is. That's called double checking. No, that's called that's OCD. That's attention to detail. Can you get anything else done in the day if you're worried that you left the stove on? No, that's why I have an app. But that helps with your OCD, so you don't have to drive all the that's way right. back. That's right. But it's OCD. That's not OCD. That, that's it's not. not OCD. Going back and checking five times after your brain knows that you locked the door or turned off the stove, that's OCD. But I'll do that. Oh, my God. Okay. That, okay. <laughs> I'll grab the door five there. times to so make sure that it registers that, yes, yeah, I did. That's not OCD. It. If you have to dra- grab it five or times every time you and go and, and you count. Right? No, that's no. What I'm I don't count feel like. Your, right. That's what I'm saying. But I do you, like when I eat not, M&M's. I have to have an M&M on each side of my mouth. Is that OCD? I don't think I don't know. I don't but I do have, someone told me this one, um, A-D-D-O-S. I haven't heard the O-S. Oh, O-S-O. O-S-O? Yeah. Bear? A-D-D-O-S-O. Spanish? What? A-D-D-O-S-O. What is it? Attention deficit. Oh, shiny object. <laughs> <laughs> I think technology gives us A-D-D. 
Poklo Roman says says Adam. Do you, would, you I, I don't know. I can't trip through these names. Uh, we've got a global audience. Do you wish you had Chris's job as an infotainer? So whatever it is that I do, I could. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. YouTube makes that out of everybody. Yeah, I mean, it just takes time. I mean, yeah. If I had the time, if I didn't have to have a full time job, yeah, I, yeah, it would be fun. I think it would if be you a sold fun, more art, but it would be stressful too. I'm trying to sell your art. Oh dude. yeah. <laughs> He's I like, I'm not even listening. Art. Fair enough. Uh, ben Paul Michaud asks, thoughts about the PS4, favorite games on the PS3? Uh, <laughs> well, my PS3 games, I'll start with that. Um, all pretty much revolve around first-person uh, shooter games. I like That's the way I like to relax. You know, it's, it's you know, it's a nice way to relax to shoot people. Yeah, apparently. I'm, am I the only one who just... That's the bench. <laughs> like, when it comes to like chilling out, well, not, like getting angry about yeah. people. Like, but I don't get angry. I don't even really get angry. I'm pretty. I laugh at people when they get angry. That's great. We, we're you're desensitizing yourself to the point. No, I'm not desensitized by any means to that stuff. But um, other games. I grew up with a sense of reality though, so I'm, I I can see how like youth today are desensitized. Um, but those are video games, and you can. I mean that that whole debate's kind of. I don't know. It's kind of ridiculous. You can tell they're video games. Right. I mean, For it now. doesn't look like that if you see someone blow up in front of you. For now. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I, I, I understand. But there, there even are some times where I'll see something happen, and I know that I should feel shock. But I've, I've seen it so many times like, on the not, internet. But that's not the that's not the, the fault visceral, of only video no, I, games. No, I, I, I agree. And that, that's I'm saying, my, like, the information overload that we have, I'm desensitized exactly. to – I mean, I'll hear there was a you – know, something bad happened. And I'll think, I'm like, that's, you know, it's horrific. And then I'm on to the next thing. If you want to blame anything for the start of desensitizing, it came way before any video game was ever invented. It was the Vietnam War. It was the first heavily covered media war in history. Oh, I'd say media has played a part throughout history. So, So the fact that that started desensitizing our society on war itself, that was the start of it. People want to blame video games for it. Do they play a role? Maybe. I don't know. But you know what? If video games isn't there, there's the Faces of Death movies. There's a great, I just caused some kid to go look that up. Right. Don't. It's disturbing. Um, but, I mean, there's the stuff out on YouTube. There was, I mean, I mean, look at there. Uh, during the Civil Rights Movement, they would show some footage during that that people asked to show to help people realize the problems they were having in the South, which is a totally different way. But that desensitize right. people so i mean there's all the and i'm not now i'm gonna get hate for saying brings them i'm not blaming it's the civil rights gonna, movement adam you were gonna get uh, hate no matter what you're getting hate because you said something about apple right <laughs> or wrong you're gonna get hate because you like the ps4 instead of the xbox yeah you're gonna get hate it doesn't matter uh, anyway what i'm just do. i'm just trying to let people right, know no, i'm okay. not against so it. back, back so to back to the game okay so anyway so any, any other games for the ps3 uh ps3 uh medal of honor is a really good game very strategy based where different from Call of Duty, that's uh, running gun pretty much. Um, and there's not a whole lot. Like Call of Duty, there's too much going on. Like it's like, again, it's like the SpongeBob generation. Like ah! now onto something different. You know, it's like too much going on. Uh, but so Medal of Honor, Ghost, uh, Ghost Recon, Recon uh, is a great one by Tom Clancy. But that's what first started me in the first person shooter was the original Tom Clancy. All right, what do you think about PS4? the PS4? I think you what? Oh, okay. If anyone wants to send me one, please feel free. <laughs> I'll totally review it for you, sir. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. He will review the PS4 for you. All you need to do is send, send it to him. No, the Division, again, uh, Clancy's new one, that looks just crazy sick. They're, you know, what they're going to do with the PS4 is they're trying to create wor World of Warcraft type games on the gaming system, get them away from the PC. Ah, I just don't see it happening. But, I mean, look at Destiny and and, and the, this division. It's that wow. kind of concept where, like, your buddy can be sitting, like, not near his PS3, right. pick up his tablet and join yeah, in on the smart. game. That's and, smart. I mean, yeah, they're going to start smart. using all that. But they want that multi... And I, I don't know if it's going to be too much... I'm, I'm, I don't know if I want to go to pull back and have the, the type of multiplayer that we have now. Who knows? To me, it, it's almost too much. I still want those small multiplayer groups. Um, other than that, uh, Killzone 4 just looks... That's what, like, when I saw the clips for that, I'm like, 
so that just I I liked the first kill zone, the second and the third one. They were a lot of fun. I met a lot of great people online gaming with them. And um even though Sony hasn't been great at the whole internet gaming thing, you think they finally perfected it? I don't think anyone will ever perfect it because there's always something Well, there's else. always something. It's um, just that Microsoft, I think, with the Xbox Live why? subscription. How? It was more stable, easier to Was it? Yes. Fantastically more stable. I didn't I don't have much problems with PSN. Getting getting to be able to know that the game was compatible or that you could connect with the people that you wanted to connect with. I yeah, I could do that as long as they have the game, just like any just like Xbox. The other person has to have the game, but sure. what else is there to it? It just it seems that Sony's just now getting their act together with the PlayStation Network. But I think they had it together. Just because it was free didn't mean it was a, a an inferior product. No, it I'm was not saying, they were just trying to bring more people onto the multiplayer world. I, I just think it happened. Granted, it happened what, not as bad as what Nintendo did. What Xbox had, it weeded out a lot of the annoying people that want to be cheap and don't want to pay for it you you have more real gamers but then you have instead of having bratty little kids scream at you for shooting you you've got rich bratty kids screaming at you for shooting you fair enough (laughs) i i don't play so uh all right i think that's really all what we have for the list in this extremely long uh wow about 10 gigs 35 yeah. minutes yeah it's a 10 gig video 35 minutes before we ratted out i had it like checked oh assuming that it's it's going all fine um i'm sure they'll <laughs> all stick with us the whole time yeah i know i know engaging. they're gonna they're gonna listen the the, the, all, all, the full way through so uh we are going to uh wrap it up um i'm having my 40th birthday tomorrow the theoretically this video will be uploaded before the birthday happens july 26th i'm turning 40 years old that means you're turning 40 next let me know yes no. you are next year? No, next. No, no, no. Yes, next next oh, oh it's not next. quite 12 but let me be the first to say happy 40th birthday old man. well yeah well you wouldn't be the first necessarily but you would well you'd be the last person to tell me right now the most recent person the most recent yes because yeah. people have been telling me all week because i threw them off when we came to surprise dad so thank you uh and i my gift uh is going to be for everybody out there is going to be to stream live tomorrow I believe we're shooting for 1 p.m. Central Time. This is the Iowa time zone. So I will be setting up that link so that you guys can tune in. It's probably going to be just an hour live with me interact, interacting with y'all. And uh, right here in my parents' basement, if I didn't establish that at the beginning of this video, that's where I am. So if you happen to be watching this video completely out of cue, uh, I'm in my parents' basement visiting them because my dad turned 70 i'm turning 40 we're celebrating with family have been here all week my hope is that i'm this close to 300,000 subscribers on youtube we're right now at 297 801 i'm hoping that tomorrow uh, at some point we'll pass that we have to get 2,000 subscribers it's going to be incredibly difficult to do i just subscribed this week that's awesome okay well that helps that's one more person, although you're family, so you should have done that anyway. I'm kind of disappointed. Wow. The uh, I was pimping your art and everything. The the hope is, though, that you would spread the word. And if I can't get it on Friday, then maybe over the weekend if we can hit 300,000. Uh, I, I, I know it's going to happen eventually. It would be nice to happen on the birthday. Who's the largest one out there? Oh, God. They, they're people who like, started after me and gone like shot well past. Who, like famous people or something? No, not, not that you're not well, famous. I, mean, like, like, I did get a free well, pizza of, because of you. That's once. awesome. Yeah. The, uh, the te- I don't know how that happened. The technology. I have a shirt on. They're like, you're, you're no me? And I'm like, no, he's just my brother. They're like, here. <laughs> it was like the Godfather situation. In, like, did you know that? Uh, you get free club. pizzas. You wear my face, huh? She'd be walking around with my face all the time. I won't disclose where it was at. No, don't do that. Yeah, no. So the, uh, uh, you know, the, there are a lot of people who are doing technology videos on YouTube. And I wouldn't say this kind of st- style. I mean, I've always done it differently. So I know that I'm not going to have the most subscribers out there. But I've always valued, I think, the, the depth of connection I might have with the subscribers that I do have. So, you know, consistency, uh, you know, when people like or share or comment. Uh, when we started doing more vlogs, which a lot of other channels may not do, or they push into a separate channel, we I put it all into the same channel. Yeah. Uh, some people like that, other people don't, but it's just the way I decided to do Maybe it. Maybe if you took a button off, it showed a little chest hair. I don't think it's gonna happen because I have like two chest hairs. I didn't. We. I said a little. Hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. That's about right too. We're very little chest hairs. So uh, thanks again for joining us. Again, you can follow him on Twitter at Frojive, and we'll eat you later.